In this video, we'll do another example of solving a word problem using mathematical modeling. So here's the story for this one. The local cable company is being asked to provide service to a customer whose house is two miles from the road along which the cable is buried. The nearest connection box is five miles down the road. Installation costs $500 per mile along the road and $700 per mile off the road. And we're being asked to find a model for the cost of the installation as a function of the distance from the connection box to the point where the cable installation runs off the road. So let's try to understand what this is all talking about. So the cable company needs to draw a cable along the road from the box to some point here, and then on the ground from that point from where they put the pole up to the house. So there's sort of two pieces of cable that need to be run. And the cable over here along the road, that's the part that costs $500 per mile. And the part on the ground, that's the part that costs $700 per mile. So you see this a lot in these word problems where we've got cost per mile. So the cost of the part along the road, so the cost of the cable along the road, well that's $500 per mile. So the total cost of that cable is going to be that $500 per mile multiplied by the number of miles. right? Because if it's $500 per mile, $500 for every mile, and if you can figure out how many miles that is, you're going to multiply that number by 500. And similarly, the cost of the cable on the ground, since that's $700 per mile, that's going to be $700 times the number of miles on the ground. So all we have to do is figure out those two distances, and then we'll multiply the first distance by 500, and we'll multiply the second distance by 700, and that will give us the cost of our cable. So we're, again, we're starting to build a model. So a lot of times when you see solutions to these models, you think, oh, they must have just done it all at once. Well, no, it comes in stages. So at this point, we have a little bit of information, but we don't have the final model. So let's keep track of where we are. So what we have so far is that the cost, which I'll call C, is going to be 500 times this distance here. But that distance already has a name. If we look at the figure, we can see that that distance is already called X. And then it's also going to be $700 for the other piece of distance. Now that distance doesn't have a name on our picture yet. So I'm going to call that distance G for ground because that's the distance that the cable has to go under the ground. So we're going to have 500x plus 700g. And again, that's close to what we want, but what we'd really like is to have a single model uh, with a single variable x. So we'd really like to get rid of that g. We'd really like to figure out what is g in terms of x. And at this point of the problem, this is going to be the part that's going to be different from one problem to the next. But in this problem, what you might notice is that there is a triangle. I'm going to draw it nice and big up here so you can see it. But look for where this is on the picture. There's a triangle where this side is G, this is a right angle, this side is 2 miles, and let's think about what this uh, bottom side of it, this uh, triangle is. So that's this distance that I'm drawing here. If this distance is X, and the whole distance from the box, which is here, to the part where the driveway meets the road, that distance is 5 miles. And if this piece of that distance is x, then the number that you have to add to x to get up to 5 is 5 minus x. If one piece is x and the whole thing is 5, then the other piece is going to be 5 minus x. So that means that my g I can figure out using my Pythagorean theorem. Remember that when we have a triangle, a right triangle with the three sides, the hypotenuse squared is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides. That's going to be 2 squared plus 5 minus x squared. And that means that my g is going to be the square root of that. 2 squared is 4, and let's just leave 5 minus x squared as 5 minus x parentheses squared. Let's not try to simplify that just yet. So that means that my cost model I can figure out with just the one variable now. It's 500x plus 700 times that thing I was calling g, but now I know better. Now I know that it's really 4 plus the quantity 5 minus x squared. 
And again, you see a square root, you see something squared, you want to get rid of those things, but we can't do that because the whole thing is not squared. If the 4 plus wasn't here, we could cancel those two things out, but that 4 plus is there, so we have to leave it like that. So that's our model. It's pretty complicated, but that's what the model looks like. Okay, there's a part B to this problem. Let's look at that. So now we want to graph this function and estimate the value of x that minimizes the cost of installation. So just to remind you, our model is that c of x is 500x plus 700 times the square root of a whole bunch of junk, 4 plus 5 minus x quantity squared. So what we're going to do is we're going to type that into our calculator and graph it. But again, before we think about how to graph that, an important step in that process is to think about what the x range should be. At some point when we graph something on our calculator, we want to put in what the x range is. So the x on our picture is this distance, the distance from the box to the point where we start digging our cable underground. So since that x is a distance, it can't be negative. So we know that at the very least, x has to be bigger than or equal to zero. But how big could x be? Well, x could be as big as 5 miles. We could keep uh, running our cable along the road until we get to the driveway of this person. And I suppose that we could keep going and build our cable like this, so that it goes past the driveway and then goes back to meet up with the house. But that wouldn't make very much sense. If we were trying to find the cheapest way to install this person's cable, there's no way that building the cable beyond the driveway and then going back to the house, that couldn't possibly be the cheapest way to do it. So the range that we're looking for to find this minimum value is going to be between 0 and 5. We're not going to go past the person's driveway and then turn around to go back to their house. So we know that whatever we're looking for is between 0 and 5. And that's going to be part of what we type in our calculator, and that's going to help us solve this problem. To do that, once we type that into our calculator, here's my graph of y equals c of x ends up looking something like that, you might have to tinker with the y range here, right? These y values end up being fairly large because it's a cost. But if we graph from about 3,000 to 4,000, that gives us a pretty good picture. And again, we can use our trace function, or we can just eyeball it and see that our minimum is right around there, right around x equals 3. That looks like where our minimum value is. And again, using some techniques that you might learn in some later courses, you can figure out how to find that exactly, but for right now, an estimate is good enough for us.